Another way to append an element to the end of an array is using the push method. In this example, I'm adding the element 4 to the end of the array by passing it as an argument to the push method. And because this method returns the array, we can chain multiple calls if we like. And here we see that the elements 4, 5, and 6 have been appended to the end of the array. We can use the join method to convert an array to a string. And here in the output we see all of the elements pushed together. If we prefer to use some character to separate the elements in the resulting string, we can pass the separator character as an argument to the join method, and here in the output we see that the separator appears in the resulting string. As we know from earlier, if I create an array which contains three elements, and then I assign an element to the 11th element of the array at index 10, the array will automatically be extended beyond its current size, and any empty elements will be filled with nil values. If I print out the array and use the join method along with a pipe character used as a separator, in the output I see all of the nil values separated by pipe characters and the element at index 10 is the character x. If I want to extract the nil characters, I can use the compact method. And now if I look at the output, I see that all of the nils have been removed. If I print out the original array, we see that the nils still exist in the array. But the compact method also has a destructive form, which ends with an exclamation point. And if I rerun the program, I see that the nils have been removed from the output, but also from the original array. And just as we have the pop and push methods to add or remove elements from the end of the array, we also have the shift and unshift methods, except that they work on the beginning of the array rather than the end of the array. Here I'm using the shift method to remove the first element of the array, and here we see that the number one has been removed. And here I'm using the unshift method to add the single quoted strings A and B to the beginning of the array. We also have a delete method to delete an object from the array, and here I'm calling delete one. The one here does not refer to the array index, but to the actual object one. So when we run this, the element with the value one has been removed. If I want to delete the element at the position one, I can use the delete at method, and this will remove the value two, which is at index position one. We can use the each method to iterate over an array, and here I'm taking each of the elements and subtracting one from it, printing it out. So 1, 2, 3 has become 0, 1, 2. If I have an array whose elements are comparable, I can use the sort method to rearrange them. So in this case, I have an array 3, 1, 2, and by calling the sort method, we get the output 1, 2, 3. Again, this doesn't change the underlying array, so if I print out the original array, we see that it hasn't changed. It's still 3, 1, 2. But if I add an exclamation point to the sort method, I get the destructive form of the sort method, and the original array has now been changed to its sorted form. And I can also assign a nil value to an element of an array. In this example, I'm assigning nil to the first element of this array, which has the value 3, and then I'm calling the compact method before printing it out so that all of the nil values are extracted. And in the output, we see that the first element doesn't appear.